The first step to using the sign delivery module is to create a list to track your sign request. To do that, click sign delivery. If you have used the walk canvassing module, it will have already created a yard signs list for you here. If not, you can add a new sign list by clicking the link at the top, provide a name and description, and click save. Once your lists have been created, you will see them here. Most campaigns will typically have just two lists, one for yard signs and one for other signs that are delivered separately from yard signs. Here we've named that street signs. There are several ways to add requests to our list. One way is through voter lookup on the website. Click the envelope icon, select the yard sign list you would like to add them to, change the quantity if needed, add any notes if needed. Another method is in the mobile walk app. As you're walking a house, if they request a yard sign, you can set the options here. Another way to add yard sign request is when scanning your walk canvassing target packets. Simply click on the barcode option of the walk target you're going to be scanning. Then start scanning your results. Um, otherwise, just keep proceeding down your list. Support. This person has requested a yard sign. The other way to add by barcode is to scan directly into the list. So click the barcode link for the signs list that you want to scan into. You can choose the default setting for the status when you scan. So we're going to select requested. Now just scan your barcodes that you want to add into your yard sign list and that will add them to the status that you selected. Just continue to scan down the list and each scan will add them to the requested status. Now that we've got requests added to our sign list, we need to deliver them. To manage that, click Sign Delivery. You'll see your sign list with counts in each column indicating how many are in each particular status. So we've got a total of 71 yard signs. If we want to see all of them on the map, we can click that map icon. Otherwise, if we click the map link here, it's only going to show us the ones that are needing to be delivered to. So let's click Map. That's going to show us all the sign requests. We're going to zoom in on the area that we want to create a packet for. This particular person we're just going to have deliver in this area. So we'll click all the icons here. Optionally, you can do select by area and select all the icons in a particular area. Now, if we want to uh, create a route for the driver, we can click the car icon at the top. Now we have two options. We can either route them in the order that we clicked on the icons and that show uh, in the markers currently, or if we did not click on them in the order and we want to just optimize the route, we simply follow the instructions to click on the first marker for the route. So we'll start here and we'll end here. If we do not like the route, we can click the car icon. Maybe we decide to include this marker as well. And now let's get a new route. We'll start here, end here, and there's our new optimized route. When we're happy with our packet, we click Submit. You can name this however you'd like. Notes can also be whatever you would like. And we'll click Save to keep that name. And now we can click Get PDF Packet if we would like to print this packet for the driver. And so the cover page will be the overview map showing the, the route and the stop order in the marker. And if we scroll down the page, you will see each marker is uh, identified here on this page in order with the address the person, the quantity, and any instructions that were entered. And if we did 
uh, request the route, the turn by turn directions will be listed between each address. Another method of delivering yard signs is via the mobile app. Unfortunately, since Apple won't let us update the app, the workaround is to click into walk canvassing instead of the signs link on the main menu. Then click the yard signs uh, listing on this page. And then you can do show all. Now doing this method will show you every request, whether it's been delivered as indicated by the gray marker, included in a packet as indicated by the blue markers, or unprocessed by indicated by the pink markers. Now that may be fine for smaller campaigns that have only uh, limited delivery drivers, but for larger campaigns where you need to be a little more organized, it's best to use the website to create delivery packets as demonstrated earlier, and then for your drivers to enter the packet ID in the app. That will then restrict their map to only showing them the addresses in that particular packet and will keep drivers from overlapping. So after putting in the packet ID, we click show all and that's going to show us only that packet. Now the driver simply creates their own route to get to each address, taps the marker to see the details, taps the survey icon to see more details of how many yard signs to leave and any instructions. Then once they have completed the address, they leave a check mark next to the address and mark it complete. And that has updated that address to indicate the yard sign has been delivered and shows up as gray on the map. Now they proceed on to the next address. To update our list to indicate which sign requests have been delivered, click sign delivery. Click the barcode link for the list that you would like to scan. Click delivered. And now scan the barcodes of the ones that have been delivered. As your signs get delivered, you can check the status at any time and see how many are requested needing to be delivered and how many have been delivered. Again, click the map icon next to the total count if you'd like to see every yard sign regardless of status. Here the gray markers indicate ones that have been delivered, pink indicate ones that need to be delivered, and blue indicates ones that are in packets that have not yet been delivered.